Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to tell you how to determine the similarity of shapes by using proportions. So most often you see similar triangle type problems when you're dealing with proportions. So I'm going to take this triangle right here and this larger triangle right here and I'm going to ask you whether or not these are similar triangles. So I'm going to give you some values. I'm going to say that this length is 2 and this length right here is 5 and we will make this length 5 and this length is going to be 11. Alright, so of course these are not drawn to scale but an estimation. Here's what you do. You take any ratio that you want from your first triangle. So I only have two numbers in the first triangle so I'm going to go ahead and pick those two and write a ratio. Two over five, okay? It's comparing these two sides of this triangle. And now I'm gonna set up another ratio for the larger triangle, but the most important thing when you're setting up this proportion in the second ratio is that you use corresponding sides, meaning that if I wrote this side in the numerator here, I've gotta write its corresponding side in the numerator right here. So the five's gotta go there, that's very, very important, okay? And then for the denominator, because I have this bottom length right here, I'm going to have to write the corresponding side, which is going to be 11 in the denominator here, okay? And now I want to know, are these two ratios equal? Do they make a proportion? And the easiest way to tell is to go ahead and cross multiply and see what my products are. So 11 times 2 is 22, and 5 times 5 is 25. Because these products are not equal, that tells me that these two triangles, even though they might look it, are not similar triangles. So that's how you use proportions in order to determine the similarity of two figures.